If you want to know how to make a camera countdown a timer with twin servers, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a countdown timer for like a live event or uh, whatever you want. We're going to provide some um, some a lot of math. Yeah, because we got to count down, you know. Um, these scripts are not made by me. Uh, they're made by the dude you see on the screen right now. Thank you for providing me the scripts, dude. Big shout out to you. And um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for epic pogger gaming content because I am an epic gamer and if you want to become a member make sure to click the blue join button down below and you can get some awesome perks I provide for you so yes so um first of all we're gonna mix we're gonna make two things we're gonna make the actual timer and we're gonna make it like a, a tween service ish button so if you click that your uh, game camera goes to the part so you can like go afk and in the meantime you can watch your camera uh, etc so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make the script so first of all let's make the timer the the, the twin service thingy to do that we gotta make a part we gotta just put it up in the air whatever you want doesn't really matter how you do it maybe you have to retode it no, no, no. Rotate it, not retoed. Um, so we're gonna make a. Yeah, we're just gonna keep it in workspace. So you wanna name this the end. Uh, I believe it's the. Oh wait, it's an event camera, like that. Now you can go to start your GUI. You can make a screen GUI, the C timer. You can make a text button, and a local script. So that's basically the things you need. What I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to quickly customize this as I want, for example, a good game. So, in order to do that, we can just do simply this. Um, I'm just going to do C timer because we are going to script that. So, let's just keep it at, like that. I'm just going to add in a quick UI corner. Yes, like this. Now, we're going to be typing local local player is equals game dot players dot local player. So it's like your player. This only works in local scripts. Local camera is the game dot workspace dot current camera. Your player cam. Local button is equals to script dot parent dot text button. Then local looking is equal to false. So then local end C frame is equal to game dot workspace dot event camera dot C frame. Local twin time, 6 to 3. We're going to give the game 3 seconds in order to let the game twin it on the camera. Local debounce time is going to be 0 0.5 because uh, we do not want it to get spammed. Local active is 6 to false. Alrighty. So those are your basic variables. Now we're going to be doing button, dot mouse, but one click, click on connect, function. If active, then... Uh, let's do return, and then active, wait, let's do it in the other way, if active, then return, and active is equal to true, like that, looking is going to be equal to not looking, so we don't have to do true or false, because that's going to probably bug the game, if looking, then button the text is equal to uh, go back, like that, then we can do camera, camera type is equals to enum that camera type that scriptable I'm gonna make the game a uh, scripted game that twin service call on create camera enum that easing style dot sign enum that easing direction dot out I'm gonna give it a zero a false and a zero and now you have this now we're gonna be adding comma C frame is equals to end C frame and then another of those brackets and then colon play. And I see we did an oopsie doopsie. What is it? Mm, oh, it's supposed to be tween info dot new and that makes it work. We just gotta add another over here. 
Uh, I'm gonna quickly retype that line because as I see I did something wrong. Uh, call on create camera tween info dot new tween time enum dot easing style dot sign enum dot easing direction dot out zero false zero then comma and then C frame six to end C frame. So now you have this. I quickly re retyped it. Now we're going to be doing at the end, colon, play, like that. But that's not everything, of course. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Now we're going to do wait, tween time, plus debound time. And now we're going to do else, button the text is equal to C timer, camera, dot camera type. Is equals to enum dot camera type dot uh, custom wait debounce time and we're gonna do active is equals to false. So this is your main script and what we're gonna do be doing testing this out. Let's click play here and let's test this script out. So now we're in our game. If we click C timer, our camera goes successfully over to the part and um, I believe you can see yourself. If you're, yes, hello. Can we dance? Yes, we can. So now if you go back, it's immediately going to go back to your player. But if you want to see the timer again, it's going to rotate it uh, depending on where you are. And it's just going to do this. Now the timer is a bit glitchy, as he told me. Because it's like a real little, little bug with it. So to do that, you got to make another part. This is going to be your timer. I'm gonna making my timer over here so you can actually see it. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Like that. I'm gonna add in a surface GUI. I'm gonna add in a text label. And I believe that the other side, yes it is. So in order to fix that, we're gonna rotate it all 180 degrees like this. Now for this text label, you're gonna go to size. I'm gonna do 1 comma 0, comma, 1 comma 0. And it's gonna be all over the place. Now for your text label. I'm going to choose, again, Gotham Black. Um, black. I'm going to do a text like this. I'm going to choose Background Transparency 1, so you can, like, customize the color. I'm just going to do green. Looks cool. Alrighty. So now you want to add in a script in the surface GUI. A script. I'm going to type local countdown GUI. It's the script parent. Local countdown text is equal to countdown GUI. Colon, wait for child, count down text. And now change your text label to count down text. A local day is equal to OS the time. This is going to be confusing. Add a bracket, then a curved bracket. Year is equal to 2021. Month is equal to 4. Day is equal to 24. Because for me today it is uh, 24th of April. So. That's why we're doing do 24. We can do hour is equal to, and this is a, the confusing part. The game is a little bit glitchy on hours. I'm just going to do 15, so that's going to be 3 p.m. Min is x to 0, and sec is x to 0, too. Like that. While waits do, so it's gonna, just going to infinitely go. Local seconds between. Is equal to OS that diff time, yep, returns the number of seconds. E, the day comma OS dot time. Local seconds is equal to seconds between, and then percentage sixty. Local minutes is equal to math dot floor math dot floor. As you can see, returns the largest uh in, in something. Smaller or equal to x. So, for example, if you have um, uh, 3.4 uh, in math, the 4 goes down, so it's going to be a 3. Should be clear, right? Seconds between percentage bracket 60 times 60 divided by 60. 60 is like an hour ish. This is just going to be a lot of numbers, so make sure to keep head up. Local hours is equal to math.floor. Seconds between percentage 60 times 
60 times 24 divided by 60 times 60. This is some really tricky math, so make sure to um, caution. Local days is equal to uh, math dot four seconds between. And now it's going to be a very tricky one. Percentage bracket 60 times 60 times 24 times 30 divided by 60 times 60 times 24 like this the star is like a time so make sure to do that local text string is equals to and you can just do countdowns you can do whatever you want i'm just gonna do event starts in then dot dot days Oh, uh, a little bit tricky. And then D. Dot dot hours. Dot dot H. Dot dot minutes. Dot dot M colon. And for the last one, I'm going to do dot dot seconds. And then S. So this is a bit tricky. Countdown text is equal to countdown text dot text. Is equal to text string. And we're going to do if seconds between is um, below zero, then you can do whatever you want. You can just do, I don't know, play confetti, whatever you want. I really don't mind, but um, I'm just going to break end so it just breaks off the entire loop. So let's test this out. So if we just pl press play here, you're probably going to see the timer immediately, but don't worry about that. Alrighty, so we're over here at our timer. If we turn... Event starts in 0 days, 5 hours, 29 minutes, and 10 seconds. So now if we press C timer, you can be wherever you want in the lobby. It's going to go to your camp. Look, event starts in blah, blah, blah. And it's now 11.30 a.m. So if I'm correct, the event starts in, I believe, 5 p.m. But that's not what we asked. So the timer is a bit tricky. As you see, we did uh, 3 o'clock and it goes to 5 o'clock. For some reason, probably because of the five, I have no idea. So let's do, um, let me just do my birthday. Twelve. Let's do, for our, just gonna do one. Why not? Now if we press play here. See timer, yep, event starts in. And if you want to do something very large, I don't know, 20, um, 60, 60, I don't know, 20, 94, with a 12, with a 31, with a 5, I have no idea, let's just check how many days, I believe it's gonna be like, a dozen of numbers, <laughs> see timer, oh, why does it not do that, well that sucks, maybe it's just too large of a number, and that makes a break, 2022. It probably doesn't support um, uh, years. But um, as you see, we did a timer. And it works perfectly. And let's see, we did like uh, 12 months. going to be like... In a few months. Uh, yeah, this, this is not even true. It's, a bit, it's just a big glitch. You make sure to not do a larger number. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, if you want more content, make sure to subscribe. Yes. And uh, my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.